All right, so introduce yourself. All right, I'm Chris. We out here in Posto, you know, making some content, taking some pictures. You feel me? Just everyday shit, really. I wanted to create something to where people can learn and grow as people. Best advice, bro, is to live every day like it's your last, bro. Nah, this is crazy. Nah, this part is wild, bro. The name of my brand is World of Pain. Hey, this World of Pain documentary, bro. It's gonna take over, bro. <laughs> hey, if you there, you there. If you miss out, tell them that's a clip. I see you. The brand started about two or three years ago, right around the pandemic, Corona. But what made you want to start it? Honestly, I've been into fashion since I was younger. And with fashion, really anything you do in life, you're gonna have to put the time into it, you know? And like, with fashion, it's like you can create something from a tiny idea and bring it into life. And you just go to the drawing board and just draw it up all the way until it becomes something that exists in the real world, you know? Oh yeah, we gotta get the intro. I feel like I could have been collab, you know, but like the whole thing with collabing, it's like, to me, it's much more than just finding a, a, a lit brand and just making some lit shit. Don't worry about the end goal. Don't worry about the could ofs, the would ofs, you feel me, the what if, you feel me, just stay down, bro, like just focus on the day to day. My biggest pet peeve when it comes to clothes, honestly, bro, I feel like the thing about clothes is it's very trendy. Everybody gonna try to look like the next man. You feel me? That's the biggest pet peeve with it. I ain't gonna lie, not even just on some clothes shit. Every day just try to do something to pivot you towards that right direction, you know? And everything else is gonna fall into place. You might you feel me? You might be trying to build towards one path, but just doing your shit every day might lead you to a, you feel me, a better path. I'm trying to establish more of its core, its identity, before I kind of like mesh my brand with anybody else. The shit called Seven Heaven, right? Seven Heaven with all the godly shit. Yeah, that shit hard. That's what I want to collab with, bro. Like, it's not in my best interest to just be doing it by myself but like I had a lot of hardships with trying to start the brand to where it's like now I have to be by myself like I'm so picky with who I work with because it's like bro it's so much that goes within this and it's like you got to be dedicated your brand because you, you what if you scale up and you blow up you mm -hmm. can't ship out a hundred orders by yourself in one day like that's real or you gotta grow, but like, what's your plans on that? What's your what's your perspective on that? I feel like it's networking, bro. It's like meeting people and just kind of gradually bringing them around with what I do every day, you know? And I feel like the team will build itself rather than me just searching for the team, you know? I feel like it will be, it will benefit me way better if it's like, you know, God will kind of bring the team towards me as I'm, you know, building this whole foundation rather than me just searching for people, you know?
What you gotta say, Will? So geeked up, you'll think it's cow. <laughs> I haven't had Caribbean food in like, For real? like a year, bro. I haven't had no Jamaican food, none of that. that shit, shit. I ain't gonna lie, that shit fire. That's what I'm saying. I need some oxtail. Damn. Damn. Like, that's a low key spot. I'm gonna hit this hill for the I've been mentioning it before.